The Moonfire has been an interesting weapon, to say the least, <laughs> in Borderlands 3, right? The Moonfire was first introduced with the Malawan takedown on uh, November 21st, uh, 2019, way back. God, man, it's been a minute, minute, minute. <laughs> Um, along with that, it also released Mayhem 4, and it was part of the Malawan uh, takedown exclusive, you know, weapon set. Obviously, along the lines of things like the Kibsworth, the Tiggs Boom, and the Snowshoe, and other stuff like that. That you know, they were introduced with the Malawan takedown. Now, when the Moonfire first dropped, man, this thing was a very, very powerful. Obviously, you know, back then Mayhem 4 was the highest. And it really was, it's, it wasn't nearly as, like, the enemies are not nearly as squishy and tanky as they are in, you know, Mayhem 10, May 11 these days. Of course, a lot of weapons are stronger there because of that very same reason. But since the Moonfire is basically the Hawk Moon of this game, if any of y'all that ever played Destiny, if y'all did, shout out to y'all. Y'all some homies, y'all some OGs, you already know. Because every third shot for the for the Moonfire, it's going to be uh, amped, and, or not amped, but it's going to be doing basically double damage, which is obviously very, very good. Combine that with things like a one-shotter, and then you obviously have your annoyments like 390. Stuff like that can be very insane. I know you could do that on, like, on Amaro with, like, Remnant, and then you could proc Remnant Orbs. That'll do, you know, hundreds of millions of damage just casually. Pretty cool stuff you can do with this thing these days. Although, in this, uh, in the gameplay, we're actually running a a U-Rad version on Moe's, and I feel like it was kind of fun. It was, we were just kind of like, you know, digging around, doing shit, you know, <laughs> do, you know, bringing the Moonfire in. I even used a 390, which is like the main thing that you generally go for with the Moonfire. Now, that being said, there's still plenty of times where this gun kind of feels like it shoots like a wet noodle. doesn't really do anything. And I definitely could see this thing getting another uh, very strong damage buff just to solidify this thing's like place and sole purpose for this game. The sole purpose for this thing is supposed to be a very, it's supposed to be like a hand cannon. You know, not, not like a, not like a revolver, not like a fully auto pistol. It's supposed to be like a, a, a Desert Eagle hand cannon type gun for this game, which yeah it does have that potential and does feel like it is that at some times but there's also times where it feels like it just doesn't hit at all and you're just like bro what you know like come on i like i need you to do better like bro like your dog water like come on <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> what? point is is that the moon fire is it, it's it it feels like it can vary sometimes i mean obviously landing those amp shots is really when it feels like it's on its it's, it's at its best obviously you know you roll if you're on flak you're running 390 you're you are able to roll the the, the times two shots into a two fang shot with a one shot on a 390 enemy yeah that's gonna hit like a truck especially if you're like inside of uh fade away or you have your ASCs up, or you have a bit of both, you know, yeah, that's going to be one, that's going to be a bit, goddamn beautiful situation, it's going to fucking it one shot just about anything in its way, you know what I'm saying, but I mean, that is like a perfect godsend scenario that you're kind of looking for, but for the most part, this thing can still definitely, you know, dick on trash tier mobs, although I feel like just because you can, just because a legendary weapon can dick on trash tier mobs, that shouldn't, automatically say like hey it's not bad i'm not saying that the moon fire is bad but a lot of weapons are able to you know trash on trash tier mobs that's why they are trash tier mobs you know what i'm saying like come on now overall though i do feel like the moon fire should get a pretty uh, sizable buff uh, at some point in the future i feel like that would just once again solidify its sole purpose in this game but uh yeah guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on the moon fire down below i want to know other than that, though, guys, if y'all are new around here and y'all do like Borderlands 3, like daily content, please do consider subscribing. We're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Try and hit that by the end of the year. And yeah, with all that said and out the way, you guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video. My name's Cree, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.